It occurred to me that there were, there were a lot of unknowns and disruptive forces that were approaching. It was my belief that the world needed a, a designers with a somewhat different set of skills, if you like, to help industry navigate through some of these changes creatively. We believe that we have to look at transportation from a systems and holistic point of view. One of the things that we realized as this program took shape was a very interesting intersection between uh, what I call things that move, which is transportation, and things that don't, which is our built environment. And the built environment is very much the purview of architects uh, and architectural thinking, and the things that move are the purview of industrial designers, whether they're transportation designers or urban planners. The way our departments work together is very much based on the studio practice of the students. So they might take on topics like desired futures, what to, could an uh, equitable, sustainable future look like, and how do you design for that? Students and faculty often work on questions of equity, access, fairness, and sustainability. They're incredibly able to take technology, human experience, service, but look at it through the prism of, of, of those diversity and inclusive frames. We look at the relationships between the people who live in a community and, and we think about, A, like, how should people really live? How do they really want to live before we design something? <laughs> um, and we look at people not just in terms of individuals, but like individuals who live in an ecology. It's the relationship between the individual and the world around them is what we're trying to understand. Because it's not just about design. Design is the easy part, frankly. Thinking systematically and understanding people and coming up with solutions. Probably the harder part is like getting things done, okay, with so many really entrenched and massive stakeholders. Um, so our students really need to be able to think strategically, but actually become more like negotiators across very powerful disciplines and stakeholders. The idea of transportation systems and design is something that students may not have imagined that there was actually a job or a practice in that field. So the connection with other alumni who've navigated creating their own jobs, creating their own practices, creating their own companies, explaining the value of their work. That's, that's incredibly important and that really does take place in a network of students and alumni and faculty. The thing which really caught my attention and the reason I came to the school was that this is a graduate program that you come in will, will equip you with the basic skills which are required as a designer but then you can make what you want to make of it. My thesis project started with a very simple question. Why is there a sudden rise of bus rapid transit systems in India? Using the system design thinking skills which I acquired in the school, and I ended up visualizing a system where informal and formal transportation systems coexist in the world. And using Art Center's network, I was able to get an interesting position in a uh, startup. There's a common theme which I was able to carry along at all these different job profiles and different stakeholders. It's the critical thinking and the system thinking which I was trained to do at this program. Art Center has a huge network through its partners, through the community, through its alumni, but in fact our classes are very small, so we get to know each other very well. You can be in a class with eight or ten other students and faculty members for long five-hour studios, which means there's a real there's a real depth to work and there's a real way of getting to know other people through working together. And it extends out into a very, very large community of people who often come back either to teach, to bring a project, to share, to mentor, to recruit. I actually graduated from Art Center in 1989. I started uh, in 2012 with the department. The, uh, in the first uh, third of the program, meaning uh, 
term one and two, we uh, introduce them to design itself right? and to transportation. Term three and four, they need to practice what they learn. In the third phase, they need to prove uh, through their uh, thesis project. My thesis topic is about creating engagement in vehicles under highly automation. In the past, people had this skill of wayfinding, and that is kind of like a um, skill lost. So I think the skill degradation with the help of the automation system in vehicles is a misuse of that system. After we acquired all these kind of skills, we have these skill sets in hand, I feel like I am to have a job in this industry and make change to the future. Transportation is really the bedrock of our civilization. This program is very much about the optimal mix of technological intelligence and human intelligence. The real role for us as transportation systems designers is to design future systems which collaborate and at the same time the application of intelligence, whether it's technological intelligence or whether it's human intelligence, needs to be studied really carefully to come up with that optimal balance.